Good day everyone. This is the iPhone 13 mini. This is a follow-up video about shooting stars using this small but powerful mobile phone. Comparing to my first video, this time I've managed to capture the Milky Way using its wide camera. It has an f1.6 aperture which is good for low-light photography compared to f2.4 in the ultra-wide camera. My first video was about capturing the Orion constellation and I've waited for a few months for the Milky Way to rise over the horizon. It's very clear tonight, winter's almost finished. I've set this iPhone in the tripod and took the shot on night mode with its maximum exposure of 30 seconds. And here's the image that I've caught. It's really amazing what a small phone can do. This is from the wide camera 26mm, f1.6, ISO 5000 30 seconds exposure. And again, like on my first video, I'm going to compare this to an image taken by a full frame camera a Sony a7 III with Tamron 70-28mm f2.8. As you can see, comparing the sensor size difference between these two, it's not that bad. I can't imagine how it looked like, like maybe a couple of more years from now. Mobile photography is getting there, closer and closer. Shooting stars like this uses a technique called long exposure. How I wish our human eye can capture this wonder. And here's another shot on a different angle. Isn't it amazing that you can capture this beauty by just using a mobile phone? And again, comparing to a shot taken using a full frame camera. And as you might notice, Milky Way shots taken by the iPhone 13 mini looks a bit washed out and dreamy. Of course, you won't expect it to be as sharp using a dedicated camera with a bigger sensor and a fast lens. So now, no matter how many times I have tried, I can't get it to work using the iPhone's ultra-wide camera. I think it's not yet ready with its f2.4 aperture. I tried it with the same steps, mounted on the tripod and set the exposure to its maximum of 30 seconds. But nah, I've got nothing. Well, actually I can see some stars, but that's all. Not sure if I need a Pro Max series for this matter. To the right is the image taken from a full-frame camera and a full-frame lens at 17mm. Not sure if the latest iPhone 14's ultra-wide camera can do this. Astrophotography is one of the most interesting and challenging type of photography that I've tried. It requires specialized tools if you're serious about it. One benefit of using a mirrorless or DSLR camera is that you can capture raw files that you can further enhance, edit, or stack together to achieve some very good results. Hey, I've got some short and useful astrophotography videos on my channel. Link will be somewhere above or in the information below. As for the iPhone 13 mini, I know I've chosen the right size. This might be the last compact phone that Apple might offer. It packs with very good features though, so thumbs up for that.